Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. Disclaimer I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. This platform consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting, tea, shade, whatever it is. If you are sensitive, this is not, I repeat, this is not the platform for you. In today's segment, we are going to be talking about some Tory Lanes. We got some Nicki Minaj. We got the VMAs. We got Lotto. Okay, and we got some update with Smiley and Natalie Nunn. We got some new music with Sexy Red, Glorilla. And we got some Megan the Stallion. Okay, a lot of things are dropping on Friday. So we're going to be talking about the things. Tory Lanez, let's get into it. He has some accomplishments that he would like to let everybody know. Okay, so we are going to get into the audio. And I'm just going to say congratulations to him for even being in jail, doing his time. Okay, and doing something with himself in the meantime. Um, nah, no funny shit, man. Like, I'm great. Like, I know that a lot of people sometimes, like, when they hear prison or they hear, like, somebody's, like, down, they think, like, he's in the corner somewhere, like, bawling his eyes. I mean, I'm, I'm really good. Like, I'm in a great space mentally. Um, I'm looking better than I've ever looked. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm working out. I'm, I'm really just bettering myself in every single way. You know what I'm saying? And just graduated high school, by the way, enrolled in college. You feel me? I never thought I'd do that, but you know what I'm saying. I'm taking this moment and I'm I'm taking advantage over everything that's good. Like I'm I'm in high school dropout and just graduated high school. Like that shit is that shit matters to me. You know what I'm saying. So it's the small things that just have me feeling good about just life right now. You know what I'm saying. Like I say, congratulations to Tory. Regardless of what he's in there for, whatever his personal issues that he got going on. He's doing something, okay? So he graduated high school and he's enrolled in college all while in prison, okay? I think a lot of people in jail need to do something positive with their life in there so the time won't be, you know, like a waste. You understand what I'm saying? But y'all already know Tory. He's still sticking down with his innocence, okay? Um, And a lot of people is like free Tory. He talked about music that's going to be dropping. Um, He's going to be doing in jail and everything else, okay? So let me know how you feel about Tory graduating high school from prison and actually enrolling in college and actually doing something for himself while he's in jail doing his time. <phone rings> Miss Nikki Minaj. Okay, so some people are, you know, pointing out some shady things regarding Ice Spice comments in her comment section and everything else. Okay, and I'm going to let y'all know this right now. This type of behavior from Nicki Minaj is not a shocker for the ones that already peeped this. This is how she be moving. So Ice Spice looked like the first comment and she put the heart emoji. All right, Nicki didn't like it, but she liked Sexy Red, which is underneath her. And she also liked the um, Christine's, okay? Um, so pay attention, all right? Now, people are saying, well, she is the only one without a like. Nikki is sick, okay? Y'all can pay attention, pause to read all the other ones that she liked and just skipped Ice Spice, okay? So for anybody thinking, oh, well, y'all be reaching, y'all be reaching, or whatever, y'all can think whatever y'all want to think, but people that see and peep, we're going to talk about it. Now, once a Sag is off you, there's no coming back. She needs to let it go. Well, if she really had a problem with Ice, she should have followed her since she claims to the media she's the baddest. Why is she scared? Um, And right here, you can see, I did a screen recording because some people were saying, oh, it's Photoshop. Some people are, you know, making this up or you know trying to start drama but look at all the other um look she even like jays and that's somebody that is beefing with cardi or has some type of you know history with her and look cuban cuban savage is a barb okay she goes against cardi and everybody else okay look akbar rally she liking everybody else comments <laughs> besides ice spice i mean that tells a lot and it looks like ice spice comment was the first comment I don't know. That's what it's looking like to me. So, let's get into this. Are we really shocked that 
No, because there already has been rumors. No, there has not been any type of confirmation from Nicki's side or Ice Spice. According to Ice Spice, she loved Nicki Minaj and there's nothing and this and this and that and all type of stuff, right? Um, But we are not them, okay? We see exactly what it is when it comes to Nicki and Ice Spice. Ice Spice, um, you know, they did collab. They did a good song together. I must admit that their, you know, the video, everything was fire. They both look beautiful. But sometimes when you're in the industry, and even in real life, things just don't go how you think it's going to go, okay? Now, let's talk about this video real quick. This video is circulating on Twitter, and people were saying she's high as hell. I don't know what's going on. She couldn't even keep her balance. Look, just pay attention. When she tried to put her foot up on that, on right there, look, look, she couldn't even put her foot up. Watch. Look, she couldn't even put her foot up. And then, I don't know if she's on something or not, but it always has been allegations and rumors of her being on the, you know, the, the white, the cocaina. But nobody has any type of comfort. Look, she fell on the wall. Like, I'm just done. But this is Nicki Minaj, all right? This is her. Look at her. All right. But anyways, <laughs> Listen, y'all always want to talk about everybody else crashing out and, oh, Cardi this and Cardi that. Y'all always want to compare Nicki and Cardi. But when Nicki does videos like this and be high off her butt, okay, clearly she's on some type of substance. I don't know if she's drunk, she's high, or I'm like, or from marijuana or something stronger. We don't know, but it's something that clearly was not sober, okay? And I just put this out there because a lot of people are talking about it. Even some barbs are talking about it on Twitter, Okay, all you got to do is go over there and look. But at the end of the day, that's Nikki Live. She's going to do whatever she want to do. That is going to be her journey that she has to, you know, go down. Okay, but the shade with the Ice Spice and Nikki, please. The VMAs, okay, the Artist of the Year nominees are Ariana Grande, Bad Bunny, Eminem, Sabrina Carpenter, SZA, and Taylor Swift. Now, Megan Thee Stallion has received five nominations at this 2024, okay, VMAs. Best Collaboration with Wannabe, Best Hip Hop, BOA, Best Direction, BOA, Best Visual Effects, BOA, Best Art Direction, BOA. Chris Brown has been nominated for one category, okay, and that's Best Afrobeats with Sensational, yeah, with um Davado and LoJ, okay. Also... South African superstar singer Tyler gets three nominations with Best New Artist, Best R&B with Water, and Best Afrobeats with Water, okay? So, let's get into it. Now, Kendrick Lamar is not like us. It's nominated for a song of the year, as he should. That song went viral. That song had everybody, okay, getting into it. But at the end of the day... Let me know. I went on um the MT. I went on the thing and voted. Okay. Now they give you 20 votes per category. Okay. So you can like vote multiple times for whoever that you want. So that gives them double a chance of winning the award. And I know a lot of people was like, oh, they try to play Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is not hello, VMA video music award. When did the hell did Nicki Minaj do constant videos? Um, uh, Sleaze, Red Ruby the Sleaze, I think it's her last video. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know. Because she don't really do videos like that with her with her music. Um, According to her, she don't want to do the videos. She feel like she don't need to do the videos because she wants people to be in tune with her music. So she probably think that doing video takes away from her music. And that just sounds like trash to me. I just think that her videos don't be hitting like that. It don't. She don't have visual effects and stuff like Cardi and Megan. Cardi and Megan right now with the female rappers are the top like visuals for videos. I'm sorry and I said it. Even Doja Cat. Now Lotto and Drake did a collaboration. And a lot of people, especially the Barb's, are upset, okay, because of the whole Nicki thing. But Drake and um, Lotto's sister, Brooklyn, was rumors that they was messing around. So why would y'all think that Lotto all of a sudden was just now around Drake when she probably been around Drake? Like, and I'm pretty sure Nicki know that. I'm pretty sure Nicki knows the rumors about Drake and Lotto's sister, Brooklyn. Lotto, Nicki, and Drake was trending... 
Um, because, you know, they saying Nikki felt the way, um, she even went on station head, which I'm not going to put up here because all she do is do riddles and don't nobody got time for riddles. Like if you got to say something, just say something directly, especially like her riddles. You can't really pinpoint. It's just like the barbs that be obsessed and really like brainwashed. They know these riddles because they just so in tunes with her codes. Okay. Nikki, and then they're saying basically she's, you know, feeling some type of way about a couple people that even collaborated with Lotto on her album. So we shall see how this is going to go. So y'all know Lotto's album is dropping tomorrow on Friday, August 9th. Okay, and I'm ready for it. I'm going to be giving my review and everything. So please beware. <laughs> Hello? 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 Nah, nah, nah. I'll just fuck with you. I'll just fuck with you. It's Big Lotto. It's Big Mama. Sugar Honey Ice Tea is out this Friday. I hope y'all have pre-saved by now. If you haven't, go pre-save. I'm so, so, so excited. It's my third project. Thank you to everybody who's been rocking with me and supporting me and my fans. Thank you to my fans. Okay, so now the tea is I'm about to let y'all hear some of my features. And y'all let me know if y'all hear any familiar voices, okay? Sugar Honey Iced Tea. Ow! <laughs> Sugar Honey Iced Tea. Sugar Honey Iced Tea. Hello? Um, her marketing team is top tier. Ooh, she's taking it back with the fan hotlines. The album title is Genius and Petty as F. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I'm rooting for Lotto. Ah, right. Lotto has talent, which often goes unappreciated. And I get it, the cult leader attacked her for no reason. But really, we need to support our girls with actual talent. So abominations like Mid Spice and Sexy STD Reds won't appear. She talking about she dragging it. No, she's a marketing genius. The lotto hate is wild. Right. Like, I just don't get it. <laughs> um, Soulja Boy did the same thing in 20, um, 2009 with Kiss Me Through the Phone. That kind of marketing is timeless. Laugh out loud. When they argue on Twitter, y'all say take it to the booth. She took it to the booth and now she dragging it. Y'all can't be pleased. Right. And exactly. I agree with that statement. All promo is good promo. I thought she could just troll Big Mama and she wasn't going to market off of it. Sugar Honey Ice Tea in just a couple of days. Okay, so some people are here for it. The lotto hate is so weird. Bro, if you don't get your school clothes out for tomorrow, but yes, for the promo Big Mama. Don't nobody know them damn voices. Okay, so we're going to get into it, okay? So, Miss Lotto, okay, I feel like that, you know, fan hotline and guessing what features is on her album that's coming up, I feel like that was a great thing to do, to get her fans in tune and more involved in the rollout. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's slightly based around drama because of the album and stuff like that, but... It is what it is, because if you're going to start with somebody, especially in the industry, and y'all make music, and y'all y'all going back and forth, and y'all music shading each other, I feel like it's fair game for it to continue, because why not? You know, it's for the culture. But according to Ice Spice, it's too much, and now the joke is played out, and Lotto's dragging it. Lo, I feel like Lotto's going to... Lotto has the opportunity to drag Ice Spice. Ice Spice cannot touch Lotto lyrically. Period. I don't care what type of fat ass she got or what type of twerking skill you think she got. She cannot touch Lotto, and that's just facts, okay? And y'all could tussle in the comments if y'all want to, but it is what it is. My girl Lotto does not does not get that recognition that she should get. If Sexy Red and Ice Spice with them trash ass lyrics can make, you know, catchy songs and stuff like that, and Lotto is an actual writer and she writes and makes her music, and she's been doing it since she was a teen, a kid. Okay, so it's not like she just, you know, came up in the game, you know, after Little Kim or all these other people. 
She been in there. She been trying to get out there, even though she had her people that, you know, Nikki's and everybody else that, you know, she looked at and, you know, was rapping and stuff like that. She still made her own path. OK, and she still don't get acknowledged for that. And I just feel like that's weird. Let's get into these updates. OK, we got Smiley. We got the new music and everything else. So please make sure to continue to watch throughout the video. So y'all can understand what I'm talking about because y'all know y'all be y'all be in the comments talking and don't be watching. Like just making a damn fool of ourselves. Okay, so Smiley. Okay, y'all know she's been on this exposing thing and I don't know what she's trying to do because she's on Tronix now, I guess, and everything else and everything Zeus related. I guess she's trying to come for them. I don't know. So right here in these text messages, I guess it's Natalie Nunn or whatever. This is his big, um, this is brother, right? Be my manager, Nat. She wanted me to expose Curtis because of everything he had on her. Okay, just listen to this. Curtis turned me on more than Jacob did respectfully. Like, I'm a nasty ass. Damn, so Natalie Nunn's husband don't get nasty and freaky with her. She had to go outside of her marriage. But these are how it always has been rumors about Natalie, um, you know, stepping outside of her husband, okay? Um, but then she denied dealing with Curtis and stuff like that in the beginning and everything else started coming out. And now all of a sudden it's this. But Smiley, we been knew about Curtis. Like, I don't understand why she feels the need to keep putting out things that is kind of unnecessary right now because we already know about Curtis and Natalie. That, that, that ship has been sailed, girl. Is there anything else, T, that you need to give? Now, right here, Sexy Red is, you know, showing us a little bit of a snippet. Um, Her flow is definitely different. I'm kind of actually liking this sound. Um, I like the fact that she's trying to switch up the flow and the sound a little bit because I think we're tired of hearing the same old, same old. Also, Glorilla, okay, and Boston Richie linked up, and they have a song that's coming out also on Friday. So a lot of people are dropping on Friday, and I actually like this. Glorilla has been doing her thing, okay? She has a couple nominations and everything else, and she's been on the charts, multiple songs on the Billboard charts, and she's really doing her thing. Now, Megan Thee Stallion, Mamushi, okay, the video is also dropping on Friday, which I cannot wait because Megan, she does the damn thing on her videos, okay? You can't tell me nothing. Okay, Miss Bailey, okay, when you feel like dropping a project on Friday, so she's even probably going to have something coming out on Friday, which we all going to be in tune. Lotto. Like I know, Lotto album is also dropping on Friday. She's the only one I think right now has an album dropping on Friday that's like a rapper, you know? I don't know. But we shall see, okay, how everything unfolds, all right? So let's get into some quick recap, okay? Tory Lanez, like I said, everybody can feel however they want to feel regarding the things that's online and their personal life and stuff like that. We all have opinions and we all judge at some type of point in life that's just life okay um but i really feel like him doing you know the positive things in jail speaks volumes um for some people characters because some people could do all of that come out and go back and do the same stupid shit and go back in jail okay some people never learn their lesson so hopefully while he's in there he's doing what he's supposed to do he's still you know standing 10 toes down on his innocence and i guess it is what it is um Nicki and Minaj and Ice Spice, like, nobody really cares. Everybody, everybody make it seem like, oh, my God, Nicki is this innocent angel and she is just a victim and everybody that comes to her is always looking for opportunity and play in her face and use her and this and this and this and that. Blah, 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 blah. Miss me with the me, that damn sad story. Nobody cares because... We know that Nikki plays a huge part in these fallouts with these industry girls. And that's just point blank and period. We see how Nikki moves. We see how she acts. She's this bougie on top of the I'm better than everybody. I got my sons. Everybody need me. She helps people so she could throw it in their face. You know what I'm saying? I don't like people like that. I don't like people that do things just so they can throw it in your face. Like it's weird. Okay, so hopefully Nikki get it together because we never really see Nikki out having fun with the girls. We don't never really see Nikki having a fun time. She's always on station head, riddling it out, high. I don't know what the hell she got going on, but that's what it looked like to me in my observation.
Okay, she's not no damn perfect angel. Okay, she plays a very big part. And I think y'all need to start holding her accountable. Even the brainwashed barbs. Because y'all be looking dumb right along with her. But I said what I said. Um, um, let's see. That's basically everything that I need to say in this video. Um, my next video is gonna have Kalani and her baby daddy, a continuance. They they speaking up. Um, we got Nelly, we got Armand. Um, with this whole funky Dineva thing. Then we got Krishan. And then we got an update. Um, then we got some updates, okay? So if y'all have anything that y'all want me to talk about, hit on my Instagram on eToxic Tea Lounge. And y'all already know I got y'all. Until then, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye. Ooh, shawty, you try, Boys getting filled with entitlement. Why would you tell me those lies? Why?